King Quifer. I'm sure you've already talked that Biden's new forgiveness policy is going to be great for the American market and value of the dollar sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, clown world. This is, by the way, regarding regarding Biden forgiving ten thousand dollars of student debt for anyone that's making less than one hundred twenty thousand dollars U.S. Oh my fucking god! Right, that's a lot of dope, right? And then an extra twenty thousand dollars for people who got PPP scholarships and crap like this, right? And people are saying this is a good thing because students are, you know, they, they, they were, they were calm into taking on these huge loans and, and, and going to basically propaganda indoctrination centers being programmed, right, indoctrinated, brainwashed and given a piece of crap certificate saying they're idiots for going into debt this long, no matter what degree they got, right, if they couldn't use it, okay, and they need relief, no. This is what the administration should have done, right? Because this this law that came in into the United States that said student debt debts are no longer forgiven was part of the bankruptcy bill in 2005, I believe. I'm pretty sure about this because I wrote about this, right? In 2005, they made bankruptcy harder in the United States because they knew that the whole system was going to collapse, right? They pumped it up so hard right and they knew Wall Street needed bailing out so they fucked over American citizens right so they made it impossible for students to free have debt forgiveness in 2015 no 2005 right with the bankruptcy bill okay now what the administration should have done is this if they really cared about Americans they should have came in and said the 2005 bankruptcy bill is now void and all the student debts that the government guaranteed are now on the universities and on the banks that gave them these debts right that's what should have happened right then all these students that wasted their lives four, five years six years eight years of their lives getting a useless piece of paper saying that I'm a completely useless human being when it comes to the workforce a lot of people did right a lot of people did like for example I got my degree in geophysics and mathematics and out of the uh, in from earth science department right and i worked my ass off to get my math math minor right out of the geophysics program that i graduated in in the early 1990s it was only me and another person that worked in geophysics no one else was able to get a job in their field why because they took basket weaving courses as their electives i took some of the hardest courses i could take to get my math minor to prove myself that fuck i work hard right I had people in my in my grade in my in my um, department telling me, "Oh, Chicho, why are you taking this math, applied mathematics, 251 course? Why don't you take mo Monday, Wednesday night at the movies? It was Wednesday night at the movies." I go, "What the hell is that?" He goes, "Oh, every Wednesday we go watch a movie, and we talk about it, and then you get your you, get, you as long as you participate, you get an A, and and you get credit." I go, "Why the fuck would I want to take that course? That's my money going to take a course." That's a useless, useless, useless degree. I go to movies myself and talk about it with friends. What the fuck would I want to pay university to take? The, oh, it's easy. I go, like, get away from me, you morons, right? A lot of people do this at university. They think they just need to go to university, go in debt like big low, like huge, come out with a piece of paper, and then people will hire them. No, man. You just made yourself, guaranteed yourself to be a serf, right? So... The administration should have been done. Any administration that is legit, that cares for the American people, should have done this. The 2005 bankruptcy bill or whatever bill they pass in your countries that makes student deaths unforgivable, right? Which is in the case for Canada, it was unforgivable when I was taking money out, right? So I had to pay back my student loans, right? From the 1980s, 1990s, right? In Canada, that was not forgiven for students. But those laws should be taken out right no, government should not guarantee student loans because what that does is guarantees that university and colleges will keep on raising fees because it's guaranteed and the banks are making a mint because the banks are uh, uh, are giving the loans so basically what's happening is some of the some of the richest institutions in the world which are these universities plus the money lenders in the world which are some of the richest institutions in this world which are the bankers tag team fucking students to get them in debt so they will be serfs okay 
unbelievable unbelievable and now that he, they, they've come out and said oh ten thousand dollars forgiven 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 but what about joe blow right that said fuck these universities right they're a waste of my money right or i can't afford to go get one get a piece of paper right they went into the workforce work their fucking asses off right work their fucking asses off to build themselves a little nest egg and what happens now these clowns in government the bureaucrats come on and said your money's not worth anything because we're giving it away to other people who when went and got a clown piece of clown paper right what about these people right these people that worked all their lives that were smart with their money right what about them fuck them right any administration that is giving money any bureaucrats politicians that are just funneling money to Wall Street they're the enemy of humanity end of story <laughs>